good evening. Happy Thursday, buddies, and welcome to HQ Words. If we've never met before, please to meet ya. It's me, the head of the Buddy Brigade, the millennial Mr. Rogers himself, Timothy Dunn, filling in for Anna once again. Hashtag free Anna. Find me on the World Wide Web and say hello, or just go outside and sit in the sun for a while. You can do both. Here's how you play HQ Words. You're gonna spin a wheel and get a letter. If you have a super spin, you'll be able to get packs of letters or extra lives. To solve tonight's 12 word puzzles, use the keyboard to fill in the blank letters. If you guess a wrong letter, you get a strike. Use up all your strikes and you're eliminated now. I'll be here to give you clues, kind of like a friend playing along with your living room, okay? For every level you reach during season three, you gain an extra strike, extra strike. Mamma mia, I'm really giving you the hookup. If you're ready to play and win some coins, why don't you give me some dollar bill emojis in the chat? Maybe some here to die emojis. Welcome and bienvenue, welcome. Welcome to HQ Words to all you word nerds and members of the Buddy Brigade alike. It's Thursday, May 16th. It's National Mimosa Day. Cheers. Now, I'm not a huge mimosa fan because bubbly drinks give daddy headaches, but what soothes my pain is talking funny with all my HQ Twitter buddies who are always just so nice. So welcome to all my Twitter buddies. Happy birthday to Cynthia White and a big old hello to her gorgeous puppy, Bella. Hello to Beth and Nick playing at home with their sweet little guy, Dexter. And a big old good luck to Suiko and her little money hungry doggo, Foxy Brown. More shout outs at the end of the game, so stick around and keep your pet pics and all your funny little sweet comments coming, cause I love them. And uh, send me some good screen grabs myself too if you get any. I'll pose right now so you can take a few. <laughs> Now let's get ready to puzzle. Tonight we're doing 12 puzzles to be exact and we are playing for 1,000 doulers. $1,000, that's a good chunk of change, 1,000 bucks. 1,000 bucks can get you 38 mimosas at one place where I used to bartend and 90 mimosas at another place I used to bartend. So choose your own adventure buddies, but always choose responsibly. And tip your bartender for crying out loud. And here's a big tip for you. If you love the TV show, The Big Bang Theory, uh, you're gonna love tonight, buddies. Tonight's puzzles are all about the hilarious and iconic sitcom. It's been on forever, and tonight, they had their big final episode ever. Congrats, Bazinga Buddies. They won trillions of awards. Blossom's on it. Young Sheldon has his own little new gig now. It's a cultural staple, right? But fear not. If somehow, like me, you're only an occasional watcher, I'm here to help you and give you some clues along the way. You're not alone. And to that end, I need you to remember that everyone starts off with five strikes, but depending on what level you're on, you're going to have more strikes to play with. So keep earning those points, and I don't need to remind you, but I'm gonna remind you about the HQ season three finale coming up on May 20th. You all know this, yada, yada, yada. You have a couple days left to keep playing all the games so you can level up, and then you can win all that big money. You funny little honey. It's 125,000 bucks, that's a ton. Now let's haul out the old letter wheel, eh? Let's give you a free letter. Go ahead and give her a spin, no oh, crrr. Now the Big Bang Theory has been running for 12 seasons. That's amazing, right? I feel like as long as I've been someone with a television, it's always been a thing. And I truly don't watch it religiously, but it's a great show to walk into a room and see on TV, because you can always be like, nice, I can definitely feed this show to my brain for 30 more minutes. That's not too bad. Glad you got all your letters all bazinged. So now let's get right to the winning with tonight's first puzzle. Now remember, take your time and use your noggin. Think about the clues, but don't get too comfy in your little beanbag chair, buddy, because the clock is ticking. So let's all just take a deep breath. And let's just have some fun tonight, all right? It's a game about a TV show. That's so fun. All right, here we go. For puzzle number one, your first clue of our Big Bang Theory game is favorite genre. Type in the letters C, N, and I. A couple more free letters from me. Now this show might already be your favorite genre. It's one of mine. A little something for both sides of the brain, like made up physicists, or two of them, or a bunch of them. Favorite genre. That's it right there. How'd you do, are you a Big Bang Theory fan? The answer of course, science fiction. Science fiction, the answer to puzzle number one. Now this show focuses heavily on a lot of science themes, but it's also a made up show. So science and fiction, you get it? That also refers to like, you know, fun Star Trek things and Battlestar Galactica things, which if you're paying attention, that might come up later. 
Are you a science fiction fan yourself? I mean, I used to love mythology growing up. If you're a mythology fan, give me a dragon in the comments. How about that? Or how about a Game of Thrones fan? So they're classic science fiction. And I tell you what, I'm missing out, buddies, because I love science fiction and I truly don't watch Game of Thrones or The Big Bang Theory. I should do that, you know? I should do I write some science fiction, which is nice. It looks like we got 95,655 of you cashing in big on puzzle number one. We lost 12,891. You're fiction, baby. You're gone. We're on to puzzle number two. Now remember to shout out in the comments if you have anything you like about The Big Bang Theory, special episodes you like, characters, maybe any catchphrases you want to remind all the Big Bang Theory fans of. Because it's a Big Bang Theory night, it's their big final night. They've been going for 12 years and tonight, we, they just finished, literally 30 minutes ago, they finished their series finale, which is a big feat for a show to run that long. It's a tip of the old cap to them. So congrats to the 95,655 you still playing. And here's a question I've always wondered. Where y'all playing from? What states are y'all in? Type in the comments, let me know where you're, I grew up in Chicago, so if I see any, any Illinois in there, any Illinois or Chicago peeps, throw me an ear of corn. How about that, the land of Lincoln, an ear of corn. Any New York City folks playing tonight? Let's see a Statue of Liberty emoji. I know I have some Twitter buddies in the middle of the country. I don't know what emoji you'd use to tell me anything about that. Now, puzzle number two, let's try this one out. You ready to go? All right, I'm ready to go as well. You know, you show up ready to go, and part of the gig is playing a live game show. Here we go, puzzle two. Now, a lot of shows will do stunt casting for ratings, uh, but The Big Bang Theory was always known for some of their appropriate guest appearances. Appropriate guest appearances is your clue, this one right here. Here we go. Appropriate guest appearances. Now, it's a show about science, so it would be appropriate to have science guys as guest stars. I'm an appropriate guest star on HQ Words because I'm an HQ Word nerd myself. All right, buddy, looks like we're running a little technical trouble right now. Catch up with us on Twitter to find out a little more information. I'm Timothy Dunn. I'll see you on Twitter in about two and two. How about that? We'll see you soon.